It's another day of leaving that car in there and taking this thing to the pool. Uh, it's a 90% chance of rain at 3 o'clock and we're looking at uh, almost 1, so I'll go get the time I can. There's the M-Tech on the Fisk wheels now. That guy's always at Larrick Motorsport having something done. Oh, we're gonna run this light if it goes. Wow, we made it. That E30 325i convertible automatic in red and looks really clean, but the top's down. It's going to rain, so hopefully they're not staying long. I had to park all the way out here to find any sort of shade because this Buick Roadmaster, or whatever the hell this huge wood panel Buhog is, took my spot. I was right, Buick Road Bastard. It's even got an extra wheel in the trunk that doesn't match any of the other ones. Very shagadelic. So it was a couple days ago that state in Ohio was considered a drought this summer. Um, now there's pretty severe flooding going on. I drove through here a few minutes ago, I don't know. Looks like it's subsided. But all of this road here in the low spot was underwater several inches. And if we slow down and look over there, these people's, the driveway and the yard has what I would guess to be a foot of water in it. I mean, that has to be in their basements. They were carrying stuff outside and putting it in the driveway or in the garage because it was higher. Freaking nuts. Ohio is like one of the only states you can actually experience a flood in the middle of a drought. There's two railroad bridges built that were built in probably the late 18, early 1900s back there. Um, one of the main roads in town here, 303, they were both closed down. There's standing water underneath them. Um, that's a huge traffic problem because it's, you know, 6.30 on a weekday and I don't know if they've closed, probably due to standing water or structural integrity, those bridges will not have to be checked by engineers, but yeah, this is dick. It's already stopped raining. It only rained for about an hour, but we got a lot of rain. Well, it doesn't look all that bad from here. The water's moving really fast and it's probably three, three feet higher than usual. But three feet over all that surface area, that's a hell of a lot of water. Well, I still have pool hair. It's 2 a.m., rains have subsided. It's a, uh, kind of a repeat of last night. Now everything's really foggy, uh, just due to the humidity. You can see the windows are totally fogged over. It's dipped. A ton of leaves and sticks and debris down. I'll have to clean up tomorrow, but it's still kind of the same forecast for the next couple days. Severe thunderstorms rolling in mid to late afternoon. Tons of rain. There's just so much humidity and heat in the atmosphere. It's that Florida effect in, in full steam here. Um, been pretty diligent all day about keeping up with email, so I don't actually have any in the inbox tonight to take care of. So that's very refreshing, but I'm going to head up and do some YouTube and get to bed. It's 2 a.m. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, the ECS order should ship tomorrow, so I should see that on Saturday. I'm going to try to hit the pool if I can. Dinner tomorrow with some friends in town. That'll be fun. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday. Good night.